Hey, it's Aaron from GameWithDudes.com, and this time I'm talking about Bittersweet. Bittersweet is a game themed around a chocolate box where players are going to be trying to collect the chocolate that they like to earn extra points, chocolates that they're okay with, not necessarily their favorite, to just earn points, and stay away from yuck cards, which will take away points. Bittersweet is being published by Cool Games and was designed by Matthew Hawker, with art from Olivia Rahm. Bittersweet. Like bittersweet chocolate. Oh, wait a minute. I just said the name of what it is. That means the video's ending. Forget I said that. This is an example of what a two player setup might look like before you lay out all the cards for the grid. I'll do that in a moment. Let me just explain how the game works. Each player is going to have a yum and a yuck. So for the green player, their yum is going to be clusters. So if it's a yum, you multiply four times the number of chocolates that have clusters that you require. That's pretty good. If it's your yuck, you multiply how many cluster cards you have by negative four. Not so good. So you gotta be careful about what you get, but you'll see how all that works in just a moment. The green player's yuck is going to be milk chocolate. The bonuses don't kick in till you get at least two cards that have milk chocolate. So as you can see, they're positive points for a yum, negative points for a yuck. So if you have five, cards that have milk chocolate, you get five points. If you have five cards of milk chocolate and it's your yuck, you lose 12 points. We were talking about chocolate. That was 10 minutes ago. And the purple player has heart shaped chocolates which scale as so. And they have the veggie. The tomatoes are going to be a vegetable today. No phone calls, no emails, no text messages. No Friendster direct messages, no MySpace comments. Tomatoes are going to be a vegetable just for this game. And then they'll go back to being a fruit. It's, it's okay. Don't worry about it. If chocolate covered veggies are your yum, then the negative points in all the veggie cards, which you'll see in a moment, will become positive numbers. And you get one point for each veggie card you have in addition to that. Just to give an overview of all the attributes that chocolates can have, you're going to have shapes. So you see here a spherical shaped, a heart shaped, a pyramid shaped, and a trapezoid shape. Shapes are one of the attributes. Another one is coating. This one has a crimson coating. This one has a dark chocolate coating. This one has a white chocolate coating. And this one has a milk chocolate coating. In addition to shapes and coating, there's also textures. So you have solid texture and creamy texture. These three are creamy. This one is solid. And this is an example of a solid that happens to be a cluster. So what's interesting is your yum and yuck cards could have, you could have this card. So for the green player, their yum is clusters, great. Their yuck is milk chocolate. This card has both. So you have to figure out if it's worth it to you because for some of them, for milk chocolate, the penalty if it's your yuck only kicks in once you have two. So you can have one. So there's a bit of a push your luck element with that in that you can take on some of your yuck to a certain point because some of them don't really start giving you negative points until you have multiples. Cards also have actions. This one says on reveal, you may take an extra action. That's a, that's a good card to have. That's clusters, and these are examples of veggies. So you have chocolate covered broccoli, which also says you can no longer return chocolate to the box. That'll make sense in a moment. This one happens to have attributes of milk chocolate and veggie. So you could have your, you could have this. You could have a yum, that's milk chocolate, and have a yuck for a veggie. This car would kind of satisfy both. So it gets interesting. Uh, then you have crimson chocolate covered olives, which yeah, on reveal, if first action you must take this chocolate. So you probably don't want that unless you have veggie as your yum. And well, you could, you might want it. There's also wild cards. So I should also mention that all the numbers in the upper left corner are points. So negative two points. This one says one or three is worth one point or three points if you have more creamy chocolates than solid chocolates. Some cars have a condition, but it's at least worth one point by default. So this wild is worth two points and it can also take on the attribute of any texture or coating or shape when you're scoring at the end of the round. They cannot become clusters and they cannot become veggies. That is the one limitation. So a wild cannot become a cluster, cannot become a veggie. And then we have the very wild and elusive. Yeah, this is like the googly eyed artichoke. I I don't even know. Yeah, this is goofy and funny. This one says this chocolate counts towards yuck when scoring. 
So if you're tallying up and you happen to have this one, it would count towards what you don't want and be worth negative one point. So that's probably not good. But it says this chocolate counts as if you have any veggies, this chocolate counts towards your yum instead. Still worth negative one point, but it could essentially become a yum. Also, the other two colors are orange and blue, in case you were wondering. Let me show you how the game works when the full layout is there. For a two player setup, it will be a five by four grid. For a three player setup, it will be a six by four grid. For a four player game, it will be a seven by four grid. So we have our five by four grid here. We have a deck of more chocolates. This is sort of our chocolate box here with chocolates that we, we don't know what they are. How we begin is, even though these say three and four players, I mean, the idea is, I don't know if the final, this is a prototype, so I'm not sure if the final game is gonna say three or four players, but they will be green, purple, orange, and blue. Doesn't matter if it's three or four, if you're playing with just one or just playing with two people, it's irrelevant. So you would just shuffle up the different yum and yuck cards, respectively, and you would deal one under yum and one under yuck, and then put these others to the side, do the same for purple. Okay, on your turn, there are three actions you can do. One action is you can take a chocolate and add it to your hand. That's an action. Another action you can take is you can flip over a chocolate where it is, reveal it, that's another action. And the third thing you can do is you can return the chocolate face down back to the box. Those are three things you can do. Of those three things, you can do two of them. So I could take two chocolates. I could reveal two chocolates. I could take one chocolate, reveal another chocolate, reveal two, you know, any combination, just two actions. Of those three things you can do, you can do two of them. So those are your actions. Before you take any actions, it's, it helps to know what you're working with. So for the green player, their yum is going to be solid chocolate, as pictured here. Their yuck is going to be white chocolate covering. I need three solid chocolates to get five points, and then it goes up from there. I get five, I get 10 points, seven, I get 15 points. So solid is my yum. I'll keep it face up, but normally you would never do that. And their yuck is going to be white chocolate. Now, because you don't start getting the penalty, you can ignore yum. You don't start getting the penalty for this until you have at least two. So that helps. I'll just keep that face up. Okay, so we have two players who are looking for the same yum. That that's happened before, but not a not a lot. So their yum is also going to be solid. Their yuck is going to be heart shaped chocolates. The problem is, if I have one, I lose negative two points. So there's no buffer for heart shaped chocolates. Once I have one, the penalty begins. So green player is going to go first. So they are going to play it safe and reveal. Okay, it says on reveal you may give this chocolate to another player. Now, if you take the action on a card, that does not take one of your two actions. That's just doing what the card said to do. So, because I revealed this, I could now give it to player two. They're not too pleased. Player one has one more action. So, I'm just going to take this chocolate without even looking at it. Oh, crap. <laughs> wow two chocolate covered onions. Who would have known? Okay, so now I have this. Yay. Okay. That was player one. Now over to player two. They're going to reveal this. And it says, on reveal, you may take any other face up chocolate. That's what this card says. However, there are no other face up chocolates. Heart shaped is player two's yuck. They don't want any heart shape, so they're not gonna take that card. It's worth two points. 
So that's the thing about this game. You don't want to get so focused on yum and yuck that you don't take things that aren't your yuck just because you want yum. No, like it would behoove the first player to get this card because it's worth two points. It doesn't matter. They don't care about the, the shape or anything. They just don't want white chocolate coating. That was player two's first action. So their second is going to be, they're just gonna take this one. They're gonna throw caution to the wind and look what they got. But this one says, if you have any veggies, this chocolate counts towards your yum. So I could count this towards a solid because I have a veggie already. That's player two, back over to player one. They're gonna just take this one, hey, a wild, look at that. That's nice, that's their first action. And they're just gonna take this one. Now, this card has nothing to do with their yum or their yuck. They don't care. It's worth two points. Back over to player two. Okay, they're just gonna reveal. Okay, it says on reveal, reveal two other chocolates. So this is all my first action. So I just get to flip over to any two of anything. So I'll flip that over. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to flip this over. So that was one action. I revealed this. Now, player two doesn't want this because it's heart shaped. Keep in mind, you're not gonna usually know, at least in the beginning, what other players are going for. Also, you kind of have to deduce it because I'm gonna take this as my second action for player two. Player one doesn't know whether or not my yum is pyramid shaped or white chocolate coating or salt. They have no idea. There's three different attributes on this that they just don't know. So player two is gonna take this because they'd be kind of a fool not to. I am that fool. Interesting thing about the chocolate covered broccoli is it says you can no longer return chocolates to the box. That is the other action you can take. So back over to player one. Player one is first action is going to be to return this chocolate to the box. So I'm just gonna put that down. That's my first action. Now player two does not know what that is unless player one happened to show them and why would they do that? My second action is just gonna be, I don't know, I, I don't win in this game a ton, but sometimes I go for guarantee points. So this is a guarantee two points. Cause it's not white chocolate, white chocolate coating, and player one has no, this has no yuck of heart shaped chocolates. Back over to player two. They are going to reveal. Okay, on reveal, you may give this chocolate to another player. And I just realized I made a mistake. When I put back that other chocolate onion, every time you put back a chocolate, you were supposed to take an empty wrapper and put it out in front of you. Okay, the game can end in one of three ways. All the chocolates in the box are face up. That's one way. The second way is there are no more chocolates. They've all been taken. The third way is if every player has two wrappers in front of them. What that means is every player has returned two two or more chocolates to the box. Now, player one could return five chocolates back to the box throughout the game and have five of these wrappers in front of them. There's no penalty, no nothing. They can do that, the game won't end unless the second player returns two chocolates. And then both players will count up their scores. Let's do that now. So empty wrappers don't mean anything. They just, they're just there as a visual indicator that, hey, if, if everybody has at least two out, then the game is over. All right, so this player, player one, their yum is solids. So let's see how many solids they have. They have one, two, okay, three, four, because those are wild. So they have four solids. So for every, Three chocolates with solid, you get five points. Uh, missed it by one. Dang. So I only, I only get five points for my yum because of my yum effect, because I have four that are solid because I'm making these solid to go along with that. So that's five points. Had I, if I had one more, I could have had, these are all creamy, 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 creamy. So if I had one more, I could have gotten 10 points. That's five. Okay. 
I don't have any white chocolate at all anywhere. So I don't, so this doesn't mean anything. There's no yuck effect. The yum is essentially worth five points. Then I count the value on the cards themselves. Five for the yum, another eight for the face value of these. That's 13, 15, 17, 20. Player one has 20 points. Not bad. Player two, I don't know if they're gonna be quite as lucky. So let's deal with our with our yums here. We have solid, solid. This counts as a solid because of the vegetable. So it says, you know, remember it says if the chocolate counts towards your yuck when scoring, if you have any vegetables, chocolate counts towards your yum. I get five points because I have three solid. One, two, three. That's five points. I have nothing that is heart shaped at all. So the yuck doesn't matter. Five points for the, so they both score five points for the yum. Player one was closer with four, missing the five point trigger for another, for an additional five points for 10, but that's fine. So that's five points. So what is this? This one is worth three if you have more solid. Oh man, look at that. It's tied. That stinks. I'm not sure if ties are friendly. I'm just gonna say, hey, ties are friendly. So ties are friendly. So this is worth three points and that's five points minus one. So this is all four points. And then we have this, that's three points plus that's four. It's worth one because I had empty wrappers. So that's four plus six, that's 10. So player two did not do very well. Player one essentially doubled their score. That is bittersweet designed by Matt Hawker from Cool Games. I like this game. I played a lot of it. I played a lot of this game with my kids. I played it on TTS. It is a very, very fun game. It's a pretty small box. There's more strategy than one might think. You might think, oh, it's just chocolate, you're just getting it. But there's a little bit more to the game. You know, maybe if you're not getting your your yums, you find other ways to maybe you get a bunch of these cars and make sure that these happen. You know, there's other ways to to get points uh, if you're not if you're not getting anything for your yums. There's a little more strategy than one might think with the game. But it's a lot of fun. It originally started off as a two player game and it works very well for two, but it's, it can scale to four, which I like. All right, once again, link is down below. It's on Kickstarter. If you want to back it and support it, I recommend doing so. You don't have to like chocolate to like bittersweet. That's going to do it for me. Thank you for watching. Take care, wear a mask, stay safe, get a vaccine if you can. Eat chocolate if you like it. Stay away from it if you don't. But the game is still fun regardless. Be blessed.